Dear students, in this unit, we will talk about the major groups of bacteria. As you are all aware that bacteria have occupied almost all ecosystem on this planet Earth. They are present everywhere. So, we can classify them on the basis of different factors. For example, we can classify them on the basis of gram staining and cell wall composition. And we can also classify them on the basis of shapes. Then uh, we can classify on the basis of mode of nutrition, on the basis of temperature, oxygen, and pH requirement. Uh, when we talk about the uh, staining of those microorganisms uh, and classify them, uh, Hans Graham was a scientist who for the first time stained bacteria and classified them into two major groups. One group was Graham positive and the other was Graham negative. So because of that scientist, we, uh, because it's, his name was Graham, uh, Hans Graham, so we have classified those bacteria and we have named that staining method as Gram staining. Now, uh, in this method, we can broadly uh, classify bacteria into two groups. Uh, he used the crystal violet dye to stain those bacteria. Those bacteria which can retain that crystal violet dye even after washing, they are called as gram positive bacteria, while those bacteria who lose their crystal violet dye after uh, washing procedure, they are known as gram negative bacteria. Now, if you could see the cell wall composition of these bacteria, gram positive bacteria, they have a cell membrane, as you can see here, and then cell wall. This whole is the cell wall. As we are all know that uh, the bacteria cell wall is composed of peptidoglycans. And uh, gram-positive bacteria, they have uh, a thick layer of peptidoglycan along with tycoic acid and lipotycoic acid, which help it in the stacking of a thick peptidoglycan cell wall. When we talk about the gram-negative bacteria after the cell membrane, you can see they have a very thin peptidoglycan layer, with, due to which it cannot retain the crystal violet dye. In addition to this peptidoglycan, those gram-negative bacteria have an outer membrane which is composed of lipopolysaccharide. Lipopolysaccharide, as you can see, is composed of lipid A and polysaccharides. So this additional layer of lipopolysaccharide that helps these gram-negative bacteria to evade any kind of staining, and it is a totally different group which has marked difference in their characteristics as compared to gram-positive bacteria. So this is the basic classification whenever you do, you perform it in the laboratory or anywhere, this is the first classification which is performed for the bacteria. Either they are gram-positive or they are gram-negative.